So hello everyone. In this particular video, I'll be talking about all about the Tikinter only. It's going to run like a series together, which helps you people to understand all about Tikinter. And I'll break it into parts, which makes you people to understand in an easier way. So firstly, what is a Tikinter? So Tikinter is nothing but absolutely it is in GUI. I know that too. Like GUI in sense, what is that? Graphical user interface. So if you ask me further, what do you mean by graphical user interface? This is nothing but graphical user interface. And Still, you don't understand. Okay, fine. Let me explain you. So, like each and every buttons which you find in uh, anywhere in the computer, which means it is all about yes, this particular thing. If you see me, if you ask me, like each and every box where you can find here, everything is because of this GUI. Or else, like if you see here, everywhere you find this button. So the creator of this Windows had used GUI based. So that's why we say our computer is GUI based. So everything is in the form of buttons. Everywhere you do, click, click. Just clicking is your job. Otherwise, uh, if there is no GUI, and if you ask me, like, why do you need to use GUI? Like, for example, you have something called as a command prompt. So there is a shortcut to use, CMD. This is nothing but your command prompt. So here, what you can do is you can just, uh, like, when you can, you can type anything, or if you want to create a folder, Nowadays, how do you create a folder? It's really simple to do, right? You just do a right click and do it. Like create new, right click new folder and go on with it. Uh, let me do that too. So I'll just do right click new folder and I will do father India. So that's an easy work to create a folder. But in, pre, uh, in the older days, you people will not be able to do this because for even creating a folder, you have to uh, use this code coding thing. And it is really hectic to say that even if you want to open the particular folder, you have to use this command prompt. It's really tough, right? So to avoid such situations, they found something called as GUI. Okay, that is really a great thing where you just click to do anything or else you would have sitting and writing the commands, 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 then no one would be using the computers at all. Okay, then uh, let's go further. So talking about something called has the GUI based library. And if you ask me, what is a library? Let me show you that too. So when you try to open this, let me show you like whenever, whenever I try to create a new file and when I try to save it, these all yellow color folders are nothing called are nothing but the libraries in the Python. And going with this, actually, it will be not in the form of modules. It will be in the form of other things because uh, 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 like there's some problem with my Python here. So uh, actually, it will be in the form of this particular icon, as you can see at the left top corner. Okay. So like that only will be getting saved whenever you save. That is nothing but your module. Group of modules form libraries. I mean, group of files and fold. Files forms folders, right? So same thing. You'll call over here as group of module forms library. And you have different kinds of libraries, which helps you to create GUI, like uh, various things you have, WX Python, uh, Qt, etc. you have. But uh, I would like to suggest two important or like two things. Like if you pe if your people like are really interested to create a desktop window such things, then you can use this particular module called as Tikinter. It's really like it contains like you can use uh, icons. You can create icons and buttons using this, and you'll be learning about that too later. Okay, uh, and these are all all things about you're gonna learn about this particular GUI that is Tikinter. Like you can create websites the applications and etc like hospital management or, or all our all these things and secondly talking about kiwi so if you want to create a mobile application you can absolutely absolutely use this particular thing called as a kiwi and that's what i would like to talk about something called as tikinter so tikinter is nothing but gui based and if you want to use tikinter you have to import a particular Tikinter module to proceed with. So this is like basic introduction about uh, like Tikinter, like what is really Tikinter? So Tikinter is, is just nothing but a GUI based library. And in next video, we are gonna talk like, we're gonna not talk, we're gonna learn how to create a window using this particular uh, module called Tikinter. So bye-bye, see you in next video.